Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stephen Payne. Today I'll be talking about passion. I view passion as something that drives you forward, something that makes you pursue a goal and what shapes you, who you are. Sometimes it can be something that can get in your way, uh, because in life, you don't have con complete control over what you're supposed to do and what you aren't. Whether because it's not something you like or enjoy it like a passion, or maybe you're just plain lazy. Thing, the thing with passions is that there's something that you like to be doing, uh, enjoy doing, and want to keep on doing. Perhaps you find it easy, or, or you find it interesting. People like things that give them something positive, like the satisfaction of completing something, creating something that, <clears throat> see, creating something of your very own, being the first in the world of many others, contributing to society, doing something that makes you feel, makes yourself feel good about yourself and be happy. <clears throat> Here's an excerpt of my personal essay that I wrote for my creative writing and self-expression class. Between all of the paths I've taken, Swimming has always remained as something I pursued on my own. The arts have been thrust upon me by my parents, both accomplished at their own passions, an artist and a viol violinist, respectively. Sure, I could have followed the, those paths that have already been laid down for me. My stubbornness would not have it, however. I did not want to take effort on something I did not want to do. I recall loathing my parents for forcing me to sit before that strange three-legged instrument of torture, blinking out melodies that I never truly appreciated. There was another one, a small, oddly shaped wooden box. Uh, you had to hold it awkwardly while standing and pulling a ball across the strings. Uh, it always felt false, even though it was a talent I had and was capable of using. But it always felt like something that belonged to my parents, not a passion I chose for, to search for myself. In other words, I m might have listened to my parents and I might have stuck with them the whole way through. As I slowly gained independence, from my parents, I began to appreciate the music I made, I made, those pieces I spent months working on to create the perfect interpretation, but swimming has always remained one that I kept my own the whole time. In this passage, you can see I sort of put music in a negative light, because in the past, I really did not like music. But now I enjoy music as much as I like swimming, as a learning performer and composer. This relates to an important factor that influences passions and practically everything else that changes in this world. Change. Change is quite a powerful thing. Say you change what you liked and disliked, like overcoming your fear of heights or realizing that the ocean really terrifies you. These changes directly influence your passions, which stand on what you like and what you dislike. Rolling in on the other hand, you may notice the pattern that many parents tend to get their kids involved in different activities at very young ages. Personally, I started piano and violin at the age of four and began taking swimming lessons in kindergarten. These happen to be the things I'm quite good at. Also, many famous people start the very same things they're famous for when they're very young, but as fam like famous athletes and musicians that we know today. This is because when you're really wrong, when you're really young, you don't really have a direct concept of what you like and what you dislike. Everything seems new and exciting, and young children tend to be very curious, so it sets up, a, sets up as a nice base foundation. Then later in life, in late elementary school, you find that you have certain things that you're good at. And because you're good at it, you won't be able to drop it because it's already part of you. In the best scenarios, you decide that you really like this and it becomes a passion of yours which will last most of your lifetime. But sometimes there will be barriers that will block your way, hardships, and things that generally require lots of time and effort. Some people shy away from these things like this because we all have to be comfortable and have things be easy and simple. I, for one, was like that. I didn't like practicing for anything, piano, violin, or swimming. Each one was a stop. Each one was stock full of repetition, your know, typical do drudgery. Um, but <clears throat> since back then, I like to live in the present rather than look towards the future. I <clears throat> I tr tried to avoid practices because they're not avoid uh, enjoyable. People who see the benefits of hard work and effort are the ones that keep their passions and become great at using them. Those are goals, and they're well worth the time and sweat that are used to reach them. Thank you for listening.